adrenaline in my soul. Every thought out of control. That is exactly what's going on inside of my brain right now. With watching what was one of the best Royal Rumbles I've ever seen as far as unpredictability. One match being so, somewhat predictable, not so much others. Roman Reigns would go on to win. Kevin Owens would go on to win but lose. Um, due to the fact that he got caught with Logan Paul's brass knuckles, giving Logan Paul a knuckle sandwich, something he deserved. As always, if feel free to like the video, subscribe to this channel, and leave a comment down below what you felt about this year's Royal Rumble match. I called it about three weeks ago or a week or so ago when I said that Bailey would go on to win the Royal Rumble. And Bailey, who's promising to challenge Rhea Ripley, oh, no, 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 don't get wrapped up in that. Ah, no. In the words of L.A. Knight, she will challenge EO Sky for her women's SmackDown Women's Championship. You push somebody out, you keep them on the outside, she started damage control, and now she is being slowly pushed out of the group. No, 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 no. Bailey will go on to challenge EO Sky. Now, whether or not she wins, I have no idea. But if the WWE was smart, in my honest God opinion, you let her win. Speaking of winning the Royal Rumble match, this year's Men Royal Rumble match, boy, I tell you what, we were all on the fence. CM Punk fans, CM Punk returns home. Every The story is already written for CM Punk to go on and do what many people have done time and time again when they return to the WWE and go on to win the Royal Rumble match. Gunther last Monday night comes out and makes a very strong case so much so that he almost swings me. It makes me make a video even about what if Cody or CM Punk don't win the Royal Rumble match. And Cody Rhodes, the man that everyone thought, or uh, most everybody, wanted to see win the Royal Rumble match. But at the return of CM Punk, his dreams, and The Rock for that matter, his dreams of ever finishing the story seem to be a hopeless fantasy. Cody Rhodes would go on to eliminate CM Punk in Gunther to find himself as a back-to-back -back Royal Rumble winner. A feat that they have been pushing that says it's not been done in years. And he would point up to the WrestleMania sign. And then he pointed at Roman Reigns. The electricity is in the building. The story is finally going to be finished. Whether he wins or loses. And right now he's got to win. Maybe I'm a Cody Rhodes more. Call me what it is. Calls it as you sees it. But tonight of all nights, as it pours down rain outside of my house, it will pour down praises to Cody Rhodes, man. They got it right. They got it right. Cody Rhodes will face Roman Reigns guaranteed at this year's WrestleMania in Philadelphia. Cody Rhodes will go on, in my opinion, to finish the story that was interrupted last WrestleMania. I called it the bloodline is starting to fall apart. The bloodline is not at full strength no more. The bloodline has broken up. The bloodline is going to continue to crack until WrestleMania where Roman Reigns will be expecting to have help. And maybe he'll get it. But I feel like Solo will turn his back. So will Jimmy. And say, nah, Tribal Chief. You do it yourself. What a great time to be in the WWE and be a WWE fan. Because in my honest to God opinion, they crushed it. They didn't do what normally would happen. And that's what made it good. 